Alright, hey guys, it's I, Gloria, and I am back with another video. Um, today's video is something that I'm actually kind of happy that I'm doing. I'm not gonna lie. So I was talking to one of my friends today just about the future and like life, right? And I had just, I don't know, I had this kind of crazy revelation that like the girl that I am today took time to become. Um, and she's still forming. She's still becoming. Um, she's she's gone through so much. She's been through a lot of ups and downs, mistakes, but she's gone such a, a long way in life. And I feel like I never really I talk about a lot of my W's. So I decided why not talk about one of my greatest achievements. And I'm going to talk about, it's a little story time about when I became class president. Um, yeah, <laughs> so let's get into the video. Whoa. All right, so when I was a freshman in high school, I remember I wanted to do the following things. I said I was going to be a part of the cheerleading team. I was going to start a step team. I was going to start a Bible study. I was going to like do jazz singers. I, I was going to um, speak at my graduation. How I was going to do all those things, I did not know. Until this day, I am still the same type of girl that will sit down and say, this is the following things that I want to do. And um, how am I going to do those things? I don't know, but it will happen, period. That's how I've always been, okay? So here comes this girl. <laughs> here comes me. I'm this girl. I speak in the third person when it comes to my life. So every year, since my freshman year, I would always walk to Miss Mitchell's room and pick up a packet. Shout out to Miss Mitchell. Oh my God, I miss that lady. But I would pick up a packet to run for SGA like council. And I was like, I will pick it up, take it to my house, read it, look over it, put it right back. <laughs> I would not, I don't want to have, I was like, no, they won't vote for me. No, da, 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 da. And I was always talking myself out of doing this thing. So now it's junior year and I remember I was in jazz singers and everybody was talking about how to make our um, our school better. And that's so funny because till this day, I'm still the same kind of person where it's like wherever I go, I want to make sure it's the best it could be type stuff. So um, I was like, how are we going to make this school better? We need to do more. And the people in my class were like, Gloria, like what the heck? Run for um, president. So I was just thinking to myself like, okay. <laughs> like, I was definitely scared. And then one day it was me, I'm gonna say names because y'all hitters are very important to me. Me, Moesha, Kofo, and Miss Mitchell. I believe we were all in the same in her office. And we're just talking about how to make our school better. And I remember um, they were telling me I should go for a position, but I was like, I'm scared. Miss Mitchell told me, You're the girl. I was like, The girl. She was like, Every year you come up, you pick up a packet. And you always return it. You're the girl. And I'm like, oh shoot, I'm the girl. And then she was just like, oh my gosh. She's like, girl, if you don't run for this position, I decided, I was like, okay, I'll run. But um, I ran, I did, the, I filled out the packet and everything. But then I was scared. I remember talking to my friend Phoebe and I was like, bro, I can't do this. Da, da, da. I heard this person's running, I heard this person's running, no one's gonna vote for me. Da, 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 da. Phoebe was like, if you're scared now, like then quit. Because I'm gonna let you know now, it's only gonna get harder. So if you're scared now, just quit. I was like, quit? I'm sorry, me? <laughs> no, I didn't ask for all of that. You're not allowed to doubt me. I can doubt me, but you can't doubt me. You're not allowed to do that. So I was like, okay, I'm running. Yeah, so that kickstarted my journey. And I remember I I ran into a couple of professors or teachers, right, who were like, oh yeah, don't you think you should go for a smaller scale position? Um, like secretary or student senate. You know, the people who are running, they've been doing this for a while. And I was just kind of like, um, sounds great, but no. <laughs> so I remember um, I had to turn in my packet to the people who were running our class at the time. And she said the same thing. She was like, I'm not gonna lie to you, Gloria. I really like, you know, your enthusiasm and everything like that. However, I just feel like you should go for a different position. And I'm just kind of like, I'm just handing in my, like, you know, my packet. Like, you know, I just didn't have time for anybody swaying what I was trying to do. So now it's time to campaign. It's official. I'm on um, 
I'm I'm on the ballot and I remember um, a whole bunch of people were trying to discourage me um, there was talk and chatter here and there about popularity scale like who's more popular luckily enough me and the girl were both on the same level of popularity quote-unquote so like she was she was also she was popular but in her community of people and I was popular in my community of people so it was like the school divided 50 50 um, and whew, this is a serious race very surreal like extreme <laughs> and now it's time for me to um campaign and i hit up my i hit up my bro doozy like doozy with the graphics doozy made me some stickers he made the got glow stickers that literally went everywhere if i can find it i'll set it right here but it was like on everything like on security guards little cart thingies on buses on binders on lockers everybody had a got glow sticker it was like it was cr like listen my got glow stickers crack like don't play with me you understand so and i remember i had flyers online i would say oh if you want a snicker a twix bar or whatever we post the flyer and things people the upperclassmen so like the seniors before us were literally like supporting me and stuff and i was like yo like i Ah, like this is crazy. We had a debate. We had a debate. Um, and it was on the morning announcements and I tried to prepare. I, w I had my speaking notes. I had my speaking notes. <laughs> I had my speaking notes and Shadi came like her drums were color coded. Like she was ready to talk. And I just had like three if not even three uh, or even a, I think I had one index card like I, I felt so unprepared compared to her Shadi had the the grades the experience the everything and there was just me Meep. next minute she was talking about all these things that she did and this and that and her experiences and then the question came to me like what will I do if I was a um, class president or something like that around um, along the lines of that and I remember my answer as if it was yesterday. I said that I am a part of a class that is very diverse. We're not only diverse in color, like race background, but we're diverse in opinion, we're diverse in talents, we're diverse in interests, we're diverse in skills. So if you were to pick me to be your senior class president, I plan on using the diversity that we have in our class to the best of our ability allow you to be the, the spokesperson of your class i'm just me i'm just giving you the platform to do what you got to do and the crazy thing is i said that i did not write that down i don't even remember looking down on my, my index cards once and i was not talking casually and comfortably like i am now and i was definitely very afraid um but i said what i said <laughs> So after the after the little debate jump, I went back to my class. It was my French class. I love that class so much. Everybody that was in that French class with Madame Mayoni, shout out to Madame Mayoni, like teacher mommy. <laughs> I love her. Oh, my class, bruh, such a supportive set. I came to that class like, bruh, even the cheerleaders had a whole little chant for me. Vote for okay, 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 or something like that. And I was just like, hey, like, this is crazy. Whoa. Um, and everybody in the class was like, yo, like, da 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 okay, Gloria, ah. So I was just kind of like, bruh, like, this is a lot. Like, this is, it's above me. Um, and I remember, um... Mr. Monteleone, I believe that's his name. He had told me a little bit ago, like about running, and he was like, How, you know, that was his last year, and he was just like encouraging me to make sure that I ran despite anything, like get out of my mind and not think about anything and just do what I have to do. So, um, and I also remember, um, I think her name was Miss Amber, I don't remember, but she was a security guard. She came up to me and she was like, Girl, your stickers are everywhere. I even got one on my cart. Did you see it? She's like, girl, I support you. I support what you're doing. I support the movement. And I was just kind of like, hey, like, this is crazy. <laughs> so now, fast forward, um, it was tw it was all night at night, right? She was like rapping on Twitter. So I was like, it's it's above me now. All right? Like, who were like, oh, she doesn't have what it takes to be president. Mew, mew, mew. So I was like, okay whoa so all this nonsense was going on on twitter people were sending me the tweets and i did not say a darn thing that's the crazy part i remember coming to school the next day and everyone was like hey, move um miss president is here da, 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 move out the way whatever and that was supposed to be the day everybody voted right and people were just arguing in class how like why are you even running um the girl has more experience this and that and, that. and i just felt really like I felt like people were trying to look down on me and I just wasn't here for it if I'm gonna be honest with y'all um but it's cool 
I mean, I'm used to it, <laughs> lol. Um, but my thing is, I, w I felt somehow, like everyone was saying all those things. And I remember going back home like really sad, like, am I gonna be able to make it? Am I gonna be able to do it? Whatever, I already ran, like what ha whatever happens, happens. And I think I remember me and her were talking and trying to make it a way where whatever happens like you know you'll still be a part of the office because this campaign was probably the hardest just know it was a very intense race it was extremely intense like everybody knew about this race and it was a senior class so it wasn't like it was sga or whatever the case may be it was a senior class uh, elections so it was one of those things where i'm like bruh like me and this girl were like like representing two different sides of the school I'm not even gonna lie, I'm gonna keep it a stack with y'all. I felt like I was representing the black side and she was representing like the white side, if I'm gonna keep it a stack. She wasn't even white for real, but it was just like, we were divided. And <laughs> then morning announcements comes on and it's time to announce, you know, who the president is for our senior class. Mind you, this is literally how our principal announced it. She said, oh, sophomore class, junior class, um, SGA council, now, for the race that you all have been waiting for, um, she was like, senior class counsel. She said, secretary, treasurer, vice president, for the moment you all have been waiting for. Your senior class president is... <laughs> That's literally what she said. She said, your senior class president is... <laughs> Gloria OKK. Bruh, that joke was crazy. Like, on everything I know, that was actually a crazy, crazy, crazy experience. It was just a lot of us were on that floor. All I heard was yelling in classrooms. And I was just like, this is crazy. I remember running out of the class. Everyone was like, ah, Gloria, da 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 And I remember running out of the class, like, I ran outside and I called my mom and I was crying on the phone. I was like, mommy, I made it. <laughs> I was like, wow. Um... And then I remember like, that was a very serious, that was a serious one because a lot of people had doubted me, a lot of teachers, a lot of students, a lot of people had doubted me because of the mere fact that I did not look qualified, I didn't have what they, what it took, I didn't have the experience that they were looking for, but I knew what I was bringing to the table. That's the thing that I felt the need that this is our senior year. We cannot have another year where we don't know what's going on. And I did my research. I went back and talked to past presidents to figure out what was needed to make the like make our senior year lit. I did the work that I needed to do to get to that place. Um, so after everything, right, um, just a glimpse of what happened that senior year. Before the senior year started, I was like, we need a, we need an Instagram page. Started up an Instagram page, PBC Years 2015. That joke. Like having people following each other, this and that and that. And we had a new administrator. It was Mr. Yates, I think that was his name. Yeah, I think so. Um, Mr. Yates, I was like, I have to set a meeting with you. Um, we ended up meeting, we took pictures with him. I got to know him so the rest of the class will get to know him as well because you know our past administrator was leaving. He was with us since freshman year. So I wanted us to like ease in, like ease him in and stuff. Um, first day of school, I'm already giving speeches. Ahita has never given a speech before in front of a whole bunch of people. I'm already giving speeches to congratulate the class. Um, have There was a lot of things that I had to do and a lot of things that pushed me out of my little like shell that I was like hiding, um, hiding in for so many years. I had to give unplanned speeches. I had to... I had to finesse things. I brought back a lot of events that I never that have been in the cut for years, especially ever since like class uh, 2012, 2011 graduated. Like just a lot of events that came back. Um, we were such an innovative class, hands-on class. A lot of people that you would not expect to do certain things did things. Like literally what I meant by a diverse class and where I was gonna use our diversity to, as our strength, bruh, that's exactly what happened. The support was like, crazy i spoke to people i never thought in my four years of college i was ever sorry four years of high school i would ever talk to um and yeah like and then it was time all that being said it's now time for graduation graduation comes by i am the first student to walk into the constitution hall <laughs> i am the first student to walk into the constitutional hall right after all the speakers the administrative board the um board of education all this stuff then you see Gloria KK. Meep. Like, literally. Um, I walk up. I have to sit everybody down. I'm doing... What? Me? You? Girl? I was shook. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, and I was the first person to speak at my graduation. 
technically the first person to graduate too. That experience in itself was definitely the birth of I Gloria. It was the birth of me. Um, because I felt like for so many years, I would speak under my breath. I wouldn't enunciate. I wouldn't, I would be afraid to lead. I'd be afraid to take on leadership positions. But that was the first time I actually tried myself and tried my potential. Um, and I guess I said all of this to say that you're in high school, you're in college, you're just at work, whatever. And you've been doubting yourself for so many years. When is it gonna stop? When are you going to take the initiative to say, I'm gonna do this for me? When are you going to take on that battle, even though people have talked down on you and have said all manners of things, even though you've talked down on yourself? One thing I was telling my friend this morning was that, listen, bro, like, I am so prone to doubting myself, but even though I may say things out of my mouth, that is not what my, my hands are doing. I literally do the opposite of the doubt. You have to you have to test yourself, you have to try yourself because you never know what you're gonna give birth to, who you're gonna give birth to, who God has called you to be, but you've been sitting down on it and playing yourself for so many years, allowing people to speak up for you even though you should be speaking up for yourself. And I'm speaking to myself right now because I needed a reminder, hence the reason why I'm recording this video. That was definitely one of my life-changing moments. I am very grateful for that experience and everybody that I was a part of, both the naysayers and the yaysayers. Um, yeah, so that's my little story. That's who Gloria is. And I hope that encourages you to be who you're called to be because there's only one you. But yeah, that's all I have to say. That's all I have to share. This is definitely a long video, but whatever. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and check out my social medias. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Like, let's interact with each other. Um, what is that thing that you're afraid of doing? that's been on your mind and that's been and you've been holding back from doing um you should accomplish that but you should comment it down below so we can all encourage each other um and also dm me on instagram if you need anything if you guys any tips but yeah thank you guys so much for um watching this video and i will catch you guys in my next video bye guys